You're listening to Tipsy, Tipsy Book, Book Reads. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Jess. And we're, we're tipsy. tipsy. Too many books on my TBR. Too many books on my TBR. Yeah. This podcast is like a book club for the antisocial. We make a drink inspired by the book we read and talk crap about life and fictional characters. We really hope you listen and drink along. Side effects of listening to this podcast may include reading vivaciously, extreme bouts of laughter, tipsiness from craft cocktails, talking shit about life and fictional characters. Listen at your own risk. Just a warning. This podcast is explicit. We are all over 21 and there are spoilers. We, we warned you. Reporting to you live <laughs> from Pines to Palms coffee shop in Ormond Beach, Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On today's news, we're reading... The Shadow of the Gods by, I don't know how to say his last name. John. <laughs> it's by John. It's by John. I think it's Gwen. Gwenny. I was going to go with Gwen. And then when I was going to ask for it in the bookstore the other day before I got mm -hmm. socially anxious and just found it for myself, um, I was going to say Gwen, but then I was like, what if I'm wrong? So then I didn't so ask. True. So true. We could have looked it up beforehand. Um. But we didn't, so there it is. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, big shout out to Pines of Palms Coffee Shop for hosting us tonight. Yeah. Exciting. Um, we look very professional. I kind of love this vibe, but I also feel like I can't like, hey. Right? Yeah. It's like, like you said, professional, but not like cozy. I feel like I need to sit up straight. <laughs> there is like a string of pearls. <laughs> Anyways, oh my gosh, where do we even, I don't even know how to do a synopsis for this book. Do you? Mm -mm. I will say a fair warning. We do apologize ahead of time for mispronouncing any names. We, it was a struggle and these names I feel like would be so cool if I knew how to pronounce them correctly. Yeah. I just like that thing in fantasy <laughs> where it just, just like, you, don't you just kind of skip right over it. Yeah. Yeah. I finally like made a little diagram of people's names that are important to the story and then Smart. what they were because I this I'm not gonna lie this book took me a minute took me all the way up until that last chapter <laughs> to get into it um that's not true I just I got into parts of it but then I was like into the story and then it switched perspectives and I was like how do these stories connect Intertwine, right we don't know yet. <laughs> we don't. <sighs> Anyways. But we are drinking mead. Oh, my gosh. We are. I was hoping we would do that. So I made a mead cocktail, uh, basically just lime, mint, and mead. And then I topped it off with a little um, tonic water. And if you'd like to see the struggle of opening the tonic water, go to our Instagram. I actually <laughs> didn't record the whole time until you got it done. So you're welcome. Um, it was a struggle. We know how to open. Well, Jess knows how to open a bottle without a bottle opener. You can do it with another bottle. It was beautiful. It was really, like, <laughs> intense. It was like a party <laughs> trick. It was trial and error. But anyways, cheers. Skull. Skull. Yes, I was going to write that down to say it. Skull. I feel like I'm back in Iceland saying that. <gasps> okay. Anyways. That is refreshing. Mm. Mm, yum. Mm, that's good. I feel like the lime cuts the sweetness of the mead a little bit. Yeah. Um. Did you stir it at all? Um, it probably could use stirred again. I did stir it, but then I put the, the the tonic water on top. I think because all I'm getting is tonic water right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stir it. Hold on. Fair enough. Akio spoon. <laughs> it made like a ding. That was really funny. Did it go back to this? Yeah. <laughs>
just listening and not watching. Um, I went and got a spoon. It was a whole ordeal. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't miss out on much. Nope. <laughs> All right. Synopsis. Should I try? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's much better. I'm glad I stirred it. Mm. Okay. When the gods fought... <laughs> Okay, so basically, there's a bunch of gods, right? And everyone hates them. And they're all dead, supposedly. Like, there was a big god battle, and they died, Mm -hmm. and it almost destroyed the world. Yeah. So then there's three different perspectives going on, right? Mm -hmm. We have this badass warrior lady. Is that Helvar or something? Orca? Elvar. Oh, Elvar. So we have her perspective. And then we have Varg, who he was a... What was his name? Like, what, what, what are the slaves called? He was Growl. a sh- sh- something. Shurple. Sh- sh- <laughs> um, by the way, we did post a, well, Jessica posted because she's amazing, a link on our Instagram story of how to pronounce all these things. No, 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 I lied. Not how to pronounce, just what, what they, they are. What they are, which it was huge because I was confused. Yeah. So anyways, he was a runaway slave that his sister was killed and he is trying to figure out what to do. So he joined this battle group, these yeah, warriors. So that he can get to a witch. Yes. For and some that was the reason. Only reason. I yes. do. I know why. You know why. You don't know why? Oh, I probably do know why. You it just hasn't why. clicked in my brain yet. Because they can essentially talk to to the dead they oh, can have a yeah. gathering of spirits um so so probably something to do with his sister yeah so that they can he can track down the uh you know a call a cow a kale an invoke <laughs> and a kale a an, call? an invocation or a calling of the spirits yeah. um so and then there's orca and she is one of my favorites she's a total badass she has this husband thorkel and this son brecca, brecca. and their name. thing got broken into, and Thorkel is R.I.P., and she's going to go hunt down the people that took Brecca. Yeah. So I still can't find the name for it. Hmm. Maybe it's just made up. <gasps> and oh, happened. some of them have pronunciations. Oh, Seder Witch. That's kind of how I was saying that. I think. Not me. I was saying Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Fair um, enough. You know what? I have it in the list that I sent you. Yes, you do. I thralls. A thrall. I started to say that, and then I. There's so a yeah, plant he's a, a thrall. Plant nursery called Thyralis, and that's what I was looking at. Mm. Anytime there was Jarl, which is like, what exactly again? Like a leader chief. of the land? Yeah, chief of the land. Is that like Jarl Broom from uh, Six of Crows? Was he a, like an actual Jarl or was that his name? Because remember, we were always like Jarl. <gasps> I bet that's what it was. Maybe. I don't remember. Maybe it's time for a reread. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, that's what we got. Yeah? That's really good. That was really good. Um, I have to say my favorite character was Thorkel. <laughs> me too. And then I had to write was. <laughs> R.I.P. Mine, me too. I had that I'm in my notes. I was like, fave character, Thorkel. Not my favorite Rip. character, dying. So... He was a tainted one of which god. So they call the, the descendants of the gods um, tainted ones. Mm-hmm. So a ber- berserker? That was a really good uh, pronunciation. Well, you know, like the term berserker, like in North m- Norse mythology anyways. I, d- I don't know how to say it, though. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> okay. But like w- w- yeah. we know what that is, right, mm-hmm. already? And then it like brought it up in here, and I was like, "Oh, cool." Wow, we know now. I c- I'm kind of wondering if he might, because the thrall that's in Yarl, what's her face's name, mm. that is part she wolf, part wolf, and part mm-hmm. th- she's two god descendants. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe Thorkel was too. Possibly, and then because they had a kid. Oh, I keep hitting this microphone. I can't look at you. Scoop back. <laughs> um, he'd have the tainted blood in him too. Yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. And what about Orca? Is she? She's got to be something. She's because be. she's like my eyes glow amber, and she feels like that cold chill when yeah. she gets all 
She's something. <laughs> She's definitely something. She became my favorite when her husband died. Yeah. Because at first I was like, she's kind of sus. But then bit. she was like, you don't take my husband and my son. Oh, my gosh. The son. He's just like a little angel in a world of Vikings, essentially. Right? Yeah. He's so cute. There is a lot going on, though. Like you said, um, it took me a very long time to get in. I would say like, after about 100 pages, I was like, okay, I think I can do this. I was like, what? I was struggling so bad, but not because it's a bad book, just because I don't think I was in the right mindset to take on. It's very dense. I was thinking when I read the description, I was like, oh, cute little fantasy. Fun little (laughs) fantasy. No, it's very dark. It's very dark, (laughs) very graphic. Oh, yeah, like trigger warnings. The axe going into the person's school and And the description of it hitting the bone. Oh and then God. the way, like, the blood drips out. Ugh. Like, it's so very graphic. Trigger warning. Um, graphic? Yeah, gore. Gore. Death. Battle. Death. And all things. Trauma. Referencing that. And this list is not? Exclusive. So. I Yeah. Yeah. It's intense. It's very intense. And it's also very vocabulary heavy and very lore heavy yeah they don't he does not stop to explain explain anything anything. so hold on tight only once and i so appreciated it because it was the challenge the rule behind the challenge and i loved that the john used the uh what's his name brecca as like a device to tell us how yes it goes right because we're confused so is brecca so then we got to finally understand and what a crazy did you have like flashbacks to hamilton a little bit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I was the like, dueling kind of grounds and all of that yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> while i was reading it but <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes i feel that and that all of that was wild i feel like there's a lot of injustice going on especially with the thralls and because what's his face uh varg for example he was apparently like sold yeah he was a free man and then his like the jarl or whoever wasn't upholding that so then he killed him and then so that and then also we don't okay but there's something weird about that that's true too because he blacks out yeah. He only remembers waking up and then, like, people being dead around him and his hands on the neck. So, like, yeah. my question is, what really happened? Did he actually just, like, in with rage black out? You know, when you're so upset and you're just, like, your brain shuts off? Right. Or, or did something, like, take over his mind? Mm. Is it one of the dead gods? Mm. Is he actually tainted? And something else was going on. Yeah, because he just killed someone in this battle recently, and that was, like, the first... He was like, oh, remember I remembered that. that. Yeah. yeah. But, so, there was an definitely some injustice there, and then also with the duel, mm-hmm. the one had gotten out of bounds, mm-hmm. so he should have lost or whatever, and then they ended up killing the other guy anyways. I was sad. I liked him. Me too. Because he was like, I was like, oh, Bessie. I'm not going to put up this bullshit. Like, And I love that he picked Orca as his second, yeah. not his son's, or Thor- Thorkel. Yeah. He was like, Orca, Orca. come I mean, on, girl. Me too. She, yeah. d- she like literally slayed, literally slayed yeah. all of the people in that house. Yep. She and then like the sons being like, uh, pretty ballsy of you to go into the Jarl's bedchamber with her and her thrall and like just butcher everybody (laughs) she said well who's had to be done not mine not mine (laughs) had to be done (laughs) so yeah it's really intense i wow i was not in the frame of mind to read this it's definitely not a speed read Mm -mm. like take your time with this and digest it not us being like let's pick a quick read (laughs) we'll read it in a day it's not a quick read it's not like it's not that thick but when you consider all of the vocabulary and the lore that goes into this it's it's something else i think there's a glossary back here is there no (laughs) we're so (laughs) dumb and a pronunciation guide (laughs) this is why we need to do (laughs) 
is why we need someone else to manage us. <laughs> because we can't manage ourselves. Oh my gosh. Amazing. I still can't pronounce that though. The okay. Yord. Yord. J O R D is pronounced Yord. Yes. Oh, and this little upside down nine mm. with the X through it is a th sound. Wow, I feel like I'm learning a new language. I mean, I, I guess it, I, yeah. yeah. So this is Gathfala, the God's Fall. Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in the back of your book, there's glossary. If you ever went to school, you'd know to look there. So that means this is Cedar Witch, not Cedar Witch. Oh, weird. It said Cedar yeah. in the other one. Yeah, but this one says I that symbol is a th. I would way go with the author. Go with the author. Then. Yeah. Um. But then thrall, why is it not that symbol? Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so confused. There's a lot going on. Okay. Well, anyways. Unless some of it's like actual true language and some of it's just made up words. Yeah. All right. Scattered thoughts? Yeah. So how I kind of organized my scattered thoughts even though we are not supposed to organize scattered thoughts but there were too many and then not enough if you know what I mean so what I did was I just split up like the main characters and then wrote what I thought on each one instead of going down, I love like, that um, but basically Orca and her whole family I just love them so much I needed more I needed a whole tv show about them I love that it starts with them, like, teaching him how to hunt and, like, all that stuff. And and Brecca is just so kind-hearted. <gasps> I mean, takes on this little creature that I can't wait to see what it looks like. Like, it sounds scary with the teeth. It sounds, like, so, it sounds, like, so ugly and <laughs> scary that it's cute. Yeah. Like, like a um, hairless cat. Mm -hmm. It's, like, you can't help but think it's kind of cute. I picture it as, like kind of like a bat like a giant bat yeah because it has some sort of wings yeah yeah yeah. vesley is its yeah. name yeah. vesley and the other thing is spurt, spurt. <laughs> which oh my gosh eats spit and blood and porridge <laughs> to keep it bound to orca though yeah but mm. yum there were so many descriptions that i was like okay yep and they are all types of your guess is as good as mine. All of these things are types of something. The one thing that's like bad, but there's like multiple different things. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> Read it, children. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, I completely understood that. And anyone who's read this book completely will understand that also. Completely. <laughs> Vasen, V A E S E N. Vasen. So, Vasen. Anyways, I love them and their little. And then they're just like, he's like, take me with you to find Brecca. And he can heal people. Interesting. Yeah. And Orko is like, no, death is my only companion. She's going, yeah. Yikes. A poor little Visley and Spurt. I know. Spurt said, Spurt, sorry. Spurt tried. Dobby is a free <laughs> elf. <laughs> but like giant worm style. <laughs> Dobby is sad. <laughs> Dobby will help. Dobby loves Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Dobby will get in trouble. <laughs> okay, we're going to stop. <laughs> Spurt killed many Vason. <laughs> he tried. Oh, anyway, it's giving me Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> there is no try. <laughs> Only do. Okay. Mm. Anyways, uh, so yeah, um, I'm curious to see if they are hunting down uh tainted children. So like. If the two mm -hmm. that were, the parents were slaughtered in the first one and the kid was taken. Right. Obviously, Orca and Thorkel were supposed to both be 
killed, and then Brecca was taken, but Orca wasn't there, which, oh my gosh, I was like broken hearted with the whole tree thing, and then after the tree thing, and then she heard screaming, and I was like, <gasps> no, 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 <laughs> mm-hmm. no, not my favorite little happy family. R.I.P. Uh, so sad. So we we're going to run away together that morning. I know. I know. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so I'm curious to see if that's what they're doing, whether it's to create their own army or what the case is. So yeah, because they do keep some of them alive as thralls. Mm-hmm. Like the one thrall knew that Thorkel was a tainted one because she licked the knife with his blood. And then that's how later on they knew the other one was a berserker in the one Jarl's home because of the blood. Sorry, I needed a sip after all that talking about blood. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, hmm. interesting. That's kind of where my head is at. And we, I mean, from the back of the cover, know that the gods are still, yeah. still looming. So, curious to see how that into play yeah well elvar's one friend is it brewer or the other one was like I the one tra- god is asleep yeah the i lost track of all the people that was even just like var definitely had more people but uh, their names were were different enough that it was easy to yes. like keep in track right and then elvar or however it's pronounced um she has so many of the same like so many start with b yeah and i was like oh I I've lost track. Yeah, I've lost track. But um, yeah, you're right. Sleeping. Yeah, and the one friend mm-hmm. that was like, yeah, the one god is just sleeping, and she's like, no, that's nonsense. And I'm like, yeah. And then she was like, this is evidence. And you're like, yeah, their whole thing with the evidence with like the stone. Yeah. And then the witch like brought all the runes back, and, and then the worms. Oh, the dis- I didn't need the description of the nose. Ooh. ooh. I was like, oh, oh my worst nightmare. <laughs> That was so bad. <laughs> but um, I love her, I don't even know what we would call him. Like the one that everyone thinks is her dad, but is not. Yes. Like companion, like, because he even says, I don't protect her. I just, whatever, but. Right. Uh, father figure. Anyways, love him. Love that he's always just death staring everyone down. <laughs> She's got some loyal people b- mm-hmm. backing her for sure. When. The little statue, that the head statue, is like, <gasps> Elvar is here. <laughs> it is me, father. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. I like her story. I like the head statue being like, little one. Little one. And like, he's just... So happy she's there. Yeah. And also cursed to still be alive, even though he's just a head. My favorite thing was <laughs> when he said, <laughs> what are you going to do? Cut my head off. <laughs> what a punny little head. They're all so funny. And then also Elvar's comebacks are, s- are incredible. Yeah. Amazing. Every single one. Like, she doesn't need the death staring father figure. She can just say anything she wants. Yeah. Which is crazy. Right. Um, this is a good time to take a little break. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. See you in a minute. This episode is brought to you in part by Fern and Fable Books, a little local bookshop in Ormond Beach, Florida. Be sure to keep an eye out on their social media for information on their new store. They're having a sale this weekend, and you can also buy their books online. We're back. So Where were we? (laughs) Elvar being just sassy and amazing. They're all a bunch of badasses. Mm -hmm. Varg needs a hug. He really does. He needs a hug. And I love all his new friends. And the fact that he was like, wait a minute. I only joined this thing so that I could see a witch. And now I'm going to battle. Buddy. (laughs) What did you think? You're (laughs) blood sworn. (laughs) That's literally what you guys do. (laughs) You know? Mm, Yeah. Oh, the other spooky, scary thing, like the worms, were the frost spiders. There were so many wild um, creatures in this. Yeah. I like the guy in the other guy in Varg's story when he was like, 
I thought you were going to die, but I kept the rats from eating your toes just in case. <laughs> He's my favorite. He's the one that keeps laughing at every time he, like, <laughs> does something wrong. Or yeah. I love that he hit. He t- <laughs> when he had the spear. Oh, God. <laughs> I got so excited. I was spinning everywhere. Um, when he got the spear and he had the, like, leather on the thing. <laughs> he didn't take it off before battle, so he just was so funny. Oh, my gosh. He's just, like always in the background like snickering at whatever varg is doing and like that other lady the like starts with k <coughs> totally like beating his ass in training and then bessie's just back there like laughing at him oh what's her name she's so cool she is cool i also love that Ro- rokia that they're all on the same like that's probably not how you say that that doesn't look like a oh but it's so loki has that in a lot of the so I think you're right, Rokia. Um, oh, I love that there are so many, like, woman warriors, too. Yes. And it's never, like, mentioned that, like, you know, one could be better than the other. Right. It just is. Yeah. That was shitty. And same with the Jarls, too. Stick? Vic? Vic? Anyway, that one's the one that helped him and kept yeah. the rats away. Yes. I just thought that was a very funny comment. Yeah. Me too. Varg is me. Oh, my God. Him talking about his sister. He just goes, she's dead. And then just the conversation just, like, ceases. When I I knew from the, that moment on <laughs> that we were going to be talking about this. Because, same. Like, he literally, he didn't even need to bring it up. No. Nope. Nothing in that conversation. Like, we're brothers now. I have no brothers. <laughs> I have a sister. <laughs> but she's, she's dead. dead. Okay, Varg. <laughs> I love it. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Ah, <laughs> Social skills on point. Right about where ours are. <laughs> <laughs> this book honestly is really low key funny. Not the queen <laughs> showing up at the one, th- like with the y- one Jarl and being like, oh, I hope my Jarl is treating you well. Like the prince situation where the prince like wants to kill the one warrior and he just goes, he has not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it reminds me of Drax from Guard- Guardians, oh, yeah. <laughs> where he's just very literal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cake. <laughs> I want cake. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, there's so many good characters. I can't wait to like um, get more information from them. Me too. Do you know there's more books after this? I think it's a duology, right? Uh, I think that's a different duology. Oh, okay. There's the Shadow of the Gods, and then there's something else of the gods. And they're called the Bloodsworn. Yeah. Which is interesting. Oh. Um, what is the second one? Let's see. I think it's two different duologies that he has. It's like... You know what song I have stuck in my head while we're doing this? What song? Spooky, scary skeleton. Run shivers down my spine. It's supposed to be the a Hunger tr- of the Gods. A trilogy, eventually. So okay. maybe there's a third Ooh. one coming out. So Shadow of the Gods and then the Hunger of the Gods and then a third that one. And then creepy. the Malice duology, yeah? No. Okay, that's so four books. there's Amber out of his Ooh. eyeballs, the dragon. Oh, that's probably one of the gods because one of the tainted type is the dragon's the dragon's kin or whatever. Orca, and I'm calling it. I'm thinking because the one storyline was like, those don't exist. Like, I've never seen, um, like, kin of the dragon one where they have of, like, the bear and all the others. And they were like, just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So if Thorkel was tainted and Orca was tainted, is tainted, then does Brekka, like, is he super t- Is he, like, super? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I don't know yeah. how that works. And that's why they were after him, or? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I just want to say, this is one big-ass dragon. I'm, like, this tiny little man is maybe the size of one of his teeth. This is how I picture, um, Taren. Taren. Yeah. For sure. So... There was this oh, thing. It looks r- real beat up. Sorry. Yeah. There's this thing. I mean, it it was like a killed god. There was this thing on TikTok that was talking. O- Did I send it to you? The whole dragon versus wy- wyvern thing. Mm, no. 
it was talking about like the lore of dragons and what they actually look like and how nobody actually um does dragons right they're all wyverns except for um toothless from how to train your dragon and the dragon in shrek because apparently dragons have two front feet and two back feet and but even in like the game of thrones show it shows their like wings being their front feet which are apparently wyverns this one looks like a a dragon because that oh no no maybe not that's the wings so it's actually a wyvern but it was like this whole like thing about like sketches of lore and whatnot and how dragons have like separate two front feet who do we think that is <sighs> orca. on the cover orca has a shield though elvar has a shield i guess varg has one too we don't know what he looks like yeah i don't know hmm interesting i think maybe you did send me that video sorry i literally just jumped topic and then went oh, back no, it's okay <laughs> it's just funny that like she was talking about media's like view on dragons and how the only ones that did it right are shrek and <laughs> how to train your dragon freaking toothless like the cutest little i freaking love how to train your dragons i it's i love it love it love it love it love toothless um we didn't even tell them what chapters we read we read one up to 26 by the way yeah what else do you have to talk about i mean i feel like i need to reread and then do the second part so fair so fair this is the most unprepared we've ever come (laughs) to recording i just did not expect it to be so dense like it's heavy world building with the lore and everything but like with no explanation (laughs) so you're building a world out of like you need to do your own norse mythology research before you go into this i think yeah or just read the little thing that we posted on our story we'll post it again yeah and the glossary and the glossary and i think you'd be better than us because i was just like oh cute little fantasy (laughs) 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 oh why am i reading the last page but i'm very excited (laughs) i think it's gonna be like I'm I'm hooked now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm invested. I'm invested. I like mythology stuff, so I, I think love. that if we get even more of the lore and like the dry or the gods like coming back, I think it's like all hell's gonna break loose. Yeah, I'm excited for that, and I think I'm I'm excited to see how they will all intertwine. Yeah, because their stories have to meet somehow. Mm. We can't just have three different Mm-mm. stories in one book. No, and if we do why (laughs) why did i just read (gasps) oh no okay well that's okay because i just looked at it before i turned to you so i better not be out of essence when i see my hands anyway oh my gosh okay for everyone who's listening um the camera stopped working (laughs) the sd card stopped filming so now we are filming on the phone technology we love it anyways we're ending this anyways (laughs) so um what kept you home what kept you up um kept me home this book and what kept me up i busted a blood vessel on my eye and it's like bloody (laughs) (laughs) i wasn't gonna say anything (laughs) (laughs) kind of freaking me out but apparently it's not a big deal no (laughs) but it's so weird. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> um, and then I guess what kept me home, I actually started, yes, this book, but I also started Lessons in Chemistry, and I was told I was going to love it, and I do. I love it. It's Yay. very good. And then what kept me up, I guess technically this book, because I stayed up to read it. There you go. So. There you go. There we go. I am reading... A witch's guide to fake dating a demon. It's cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love that for you. What's it about? It's like a witch's guide. A witch fake dating? accidentally summons a demon and he's not supposed to leave without her soul, but then they fall in love. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. It is, actually. <laughs> okay, well. Um,. So a few housekeeping things. Obviously, we did not have our Q&A yet. We will have it eventually. Um, just 
life is crazy sometimes and it doesn't work out. So we will definitely be having it probably after the holidays. So stay tuned for that. We are excited about it. And then, um, oh, Fabled Fantasy Events hosting their book book con and um one of the levels is already sold out yeah so get, get your, your tickets because it's gonna be crazy mm-hmm. we'll be there um are we allowed to like say what we're doing yet i don't know okay well mystery fun stuff <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned and with that stay tipsy stay tipsy bye